So in the past two years, almost two years of being a student here in Canada, I've gotten five scholarships. Hello everyone, I am Devi Sayo and I'm an international student here in Canada, soon to graduate. I'm also a travel blogger, I have a podcast and I have a travel blog as well, amongst so many other things that I run. So welcome here if you're new. Feel free to subscribe and like and share this video if it's you know if you find it of value to you once you're done watching the video and if you're not new welcome welcome and happy new year and happy new month as well because i believe you'll be watching this video in february so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how i've been able to get scholarships here in canada i'm an international student i'm nigerian so my my, my passport the only passport i have right now is a nigerian passport and that's this is what I used to get it, um, an admission here in Canada. So coming into Canada as an international student also means that the cost I pay for tuition is way more than a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. So this also means my school fees, by the way, was about thirty three to thirty four thousand, which is on the high side. It's a two years degree, master's degree. So looking at this, it's something that can overwhelm you in terms of you know finding how to pay the full the full tuition i've made different videos as to how i was able to get the admission how i was able to also get like my visa to come to canada and i shared a bit about how much proof of funds i submitted and how much i was able to you know cover for my first year i believe so i'm going to link this those videos up here somewhere you can go check the, those out in case you have someone that is you know looking for something useful in terms of visa application but in this video i'm going to be focusing on scholarships so in the past two years almost two years of being a student here in canada i've gotten five scholarships um two of those were external three of those were from my school now um before i got those five scholarships i've gotten a lot of news and i remember in the first year of my school before i even started getting any scholarship from my school i got two no's specifically from my school and i and i was like what am i doing wrong and i had to reach out to the um, financial aid team to ask to ask oh what am i doing wrong how can i improve and then the team member suggested a link to me that the school has written on how to write good essays for your for to win a scholarship in the school number one number two they also advised me on steps to take now i'm mentioning this to also encourage you that you should not let no's deter you i've gotten a lot of no's from my school from other places i have applied to i've applied for so many scholarships both in school and outside i cannot count but so far i've gotten five right um and by god's grace when we get more i will share with you now this video is going to be divided into two parts and the first part is focused on the links and the sites that i have gone through to look for scholarships and then the second part is how i was able to um, apply for these scholarships and win them based on the feedback i got and based on my experience so far as well so i also have a blog post on this it is advisable to go check the blog post because i have written all of these things out and it's easier to just click on it so you see me say oh maybe canada canada.ng if you're on my website it i you know you just easily just click on it and it takes you to the page so it's just easier for you i'm gonna leave the link to the blog post down in the description or maybe somewhere here um yeah now the sites that i went through that i constantly go through are number one scholarshipscanada.com number two studyincanada.com by the way i'm looking at my phone so in case you wonder where i'm looking down number three student life network and i believe it's so it's going to be somewhere on the screen here as well number four cookie i don't know how to pronounce this yonic or knonic <laughs> Unique Student Awards. This one always has a lot of like. Sometimes the awards on this website, they will need to apply with an essay, you know. And number five is Royal Rose University in um, Course Awards, which I mentioned I've won three from the school so far. Now I'm going to be choosing one of these links, and I'll be showing you how to go around it before we go into how to apply. So 
let's get straight into that right now this is the blog post i have on um, canada international student guide on how to apply for scholarships right now it says private as i time i'm recording this video but by the time it's going to be by the time you're seeing this video trust me this video this um blog post will already be public now you know i've written a couple of things and you scroll down i'm going to click on the first one scholarshipscanada.com and then we click on all scholarships then what i usually do because there's so many scholarships to go through and they can be overwhelming like if you want to you can spend a whole day applying for scholarships if you're not careful and you want to be able to maximize your time and do the best that you can do so i sometimes start with um like i want i'm looking for a level of study postgraduate now now that's because they usually have scholarship for high school students as well so I, I i go to postgraduate then you know sometimes i might say okay let me look for bursary but nah i'm just gonna leave that bursary i've good i've gotten one bursary before and it's good so just leave that there i usually just focus on postgraduate and you know i am in british columbia so i can decide to say okay let me click on british columbia because they have i've seen a lot of scholarships that i fit the criteria but the only thing i do not fit is the location i'm like hey tall i don't be seeing one on quebec one on alberta i'm like kilo day kilo so you know let's just put british columbia let's see what we have empowered kids ontario school program see i have, I have put british columbia i don't know why people are still giving me ontario anyway so let's see this black community leader scholarship i click on this this is good money five thousand dollars so you the title already says canada so you best believe that whenever you're writing your essay you have to make sure you prove that you're a leader but we'll get into that soon so now you've you know you've streamlined the kind of scholarship that fits into the criteria that you know that you're working with and then you scroll to the eligi eligibility <laughs> english eligibility and then you see am i am i a black person if you are then fine you meet criteria number one criteria number two are you pursuing a postgraduate study in the canadian university yes if you are Apart from that, is it for this academic period, academic year? If you are not in the same academic year, then please don't bother disturbing yourself. Okay. Number two or number three, just read through all of this. Number three, do you have a strong academic? So now this particular scholarship requires that you have a good CGPA. Not all scholarships require that you have a good CGPA, but you know, most actually does. <laughs> So if you're looking for a scholarship that does not require a good CGPA, you can still find it on this same website. So you just have to do a lot of digging and searching, digging and searching. There's so many in that summer scholarships that just says, oh, um, apply with a reason why you, or sharing how you've taken a leadership step in the past. I'm just trying to think of an example. There's so many things that some people, some scholarships will just say, um, tell me how you you know one or pitch something some people i don't some people just have free money and not looking for what to give honestly so then demonstrate involvement in organizations or causes so this is these are all the things you also be including in your essay as well demonstrate involvement so how do you demonstrate all this is true an essay so you come to application you see they want you to write a personal statement which is the essay i'm talking about they want you to submit your transcript so if you don't have one you go and start thinking about to get one they want you to submit your resume your reference letter and sometimes they even tell you who is going to be judging your paper so you can go and do research on them and know what they are, what those people look look out for in your essay um our selection committee will evaluate your scholarship application based on your demonstrated interest so they are basically going to be assessing everything you submitted and of course this part says your demonstrated financial need so in your essay you have to include that yes you need the money but you wouldn't say it in a way that you're begging for money you can say oh i have this is the amount of school fees i have this is how much i've been able to cover and this is how much i would need so that's the need you need money and it's not like you are totally helpless because you've covered some fees already so let's actually read each of them demonstrated interest in pursuing a career in a field related to edc so what is edc that's export development canada so for someone like me i do not even fit into this criteria but if this is what you want then you move go ahead you have clear expression of how the scholarship will help you pursue this field of study 
your level of academic achievement is high, your demonstration of financial experience in Canada and abroad, ex no work experience essentially, that's why they want you to submit your CV, leadership potential, and letter of reference and language skills. So all of this is required for your um, application. So when you're writing your essay, this is where we get into the second part of this video, which is now making sure that your essay fits into what was required or what was requested in the um, eligibility criteria section. So when you start writing, of course, you want to write that, that you know, your first paragraph is most likely putting in your your best foot forward. Oh, I am a, I am a master's student at Royal Rose University seeking to pursue, or oh, I am a student in, at Royal Rose University seeking to pursue a master's degree, blah, 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 because of this. Now, why, why are you studying this course? Why is this a big dream for you? You know, you, you use your first paragraph to focus on all of that and then tie it into your career paths. In the second paragraph, focusing on your career paths that, oh, looking at this and looking at that this is how going to help the economy this is how i'm going to you know be able to add value to the country or this is how i've been able to take the lead now you start expatiating on your leadership qualities because this particular essay or this particular scholarship wants you to show how you've taken the lead in the past they also want you to know they also want to know how or why you're interested to pursue this field of study so make sure that you're answering all of these questions in your essay some essays are just expected to be one page so imagine you are having so many ideas but you have to look for a way to fit it in one page i have had to do that a lot of times while some essay requires you to write like three pages those are those kind of <laughs> those kinds of um, scholarship i don't used to like it but you start looking for things that you you know you, to just fill in the space <sighs> but usually it's worth it because those kinds of essay also make you start thinking deep that ah, what else is in my life gone that i have done what else? You know, I, it's usually a time of reflection for me when I'm writing essays. But these days, a good trick is once you've written a really good essay, you don't have to write a new one every time you are applying for a new scholarship. Once you've written a good essay, when you're writing a new scholarship, all you have to do is change the keywords. So what, I, what do I mean by keywords? In your first essay, this particular one we're looking at is focusing on leadership, on your career path. So those are the keywords. So when you're writing your essay, you're like, oh, this is how I've taken the lead in this company. This is how I took the lead here. So in a, a different essay, they might be requesting for someone that's a female, someone that's black. So you now have to change those keywords and say, oh, I am a female black entrepreneur currently studying master's development at Rio Rose University. This is what I'm passionate about, entrepreneurship. So those are the key, if those are the keywords required um, in the eligibility criteria, then that's all you need to do. I've done this separately and I've won, you know, several scholarships, scholarships with that trick. I don't have to write a new essay. I have templates of essay that I, you know, use or reuse when I want to apply for a new scholarship, if that makes sense. That's a really good trick. You still have to stress yourself. So the best thing is for you right now is to write a really good essay. Take that time. It can be one day, two days. The good thing about it for me is I've gotten hells in the past and the hells have helped me grow. The hells have groomed me. I've applied for um, um, Shivnist scholarship. Now, if you have applied for that scholarship, I, for me, I was even selected to the interview stage. So, meaning that my essay was good enough to be selected to interview stage. So, if you've gone through that process of writing um, writing an essay for Shivni, you will be considered someone as a good writer because that process is, is a lot. So I, every essay I, you know, eventually developed, I, I built from that essay, from my shivning essay. I just refined my shivning essay to fit into the criteria of, you know, Canada. And then once I got my first scholarship in Canada, I now use that particular scholarship or that particular essay to refine my other, you know, essays. I don't have to do too much anymore. I just refine a few keywords. So I'm giving you tips and tricks that people pay money for. Um, so I'm going to put my account number on the, on the screen. So once you've done all of that, the next thing for you then is to reread everything you've you've written, send it to a friend that can help you edit it or have a second eye so that you know that you, you know, are not making a mistake. Sometimes you're used to what you're reading, you don't even see the mistake. It happens to me a lot. I send it to my friend and they're able to say, oh, correct this, correct that, or correct this tone, change your tone here. That's one. Two, use Grammarly. I use Grammarly. Ever since I started my master's degree, I've started using Grammarly and I've seen how it has really transformed my writing. I'm like, why have I been sleeping on this? Uh, they're not paying me. In fact, I should make it a sponsored post. But they're not paying me. 
Number four is pray. Every time I'm writing my essay, anything I'm doing in my life, actually, I add it over to God. Even this video I'm creating, I'm going to add it over to God. Let the right people watch this video. Let it also impact their life. You know, do whatever you want this video to do. Take control of this video. Same thing I do with my with my writing of my um, essays or my scholarship. God, come and be glorified in my essay. Come and be glorified. Open the door for me. Come and make a way for me where there seems to be no way. You distinguish Daniel in the midst, you know, amongst the spares. Come and distinguish me as I apply. There might be 1,000 people that will apply, but it's me that will be chosen. That is what you do. You pray. And prayer works. Prayer works because God is the King of Kings. He's the Lord. He's one that created you, created me, created this heart. So what is a scholarship that you cannot do? So yeah, my loves, <laughs> that is all for today. I have, a, I, you know, I just shared with you about five links to websites. I have a lot more on my website or my blog post rather. Um, as to other websites you can check for scholarship opportunities. Feel free to go check out my blog post. And yes, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, I am happy to answer them in the question or in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video please like it and share it you know somebody wants to have the same knowledge that you have right now it took me so i have been in school for two years right so it took me two years to have knowledge that i have but not just two years i have been applying for scholarships for the past five years or four four to five years of my life i i told you about shivning so I'm not, i started my shivning journey way back so all of that knowledge all together is what i just summarized in this video right so all the knowledge you have now somebody else needs it so feel free to share this video with somebody and yeah i'll be looking forward to your questions to your comments and do not forget to like share and subscribe subscribe to this video i'll be sharing with you more tips and any other lessons i have had here in canada like finding accommodation here in canada and any other questions you give me i could create a new content on it if it is content worthy like if it requires a long video essentially so yeah see you in my next video till next time do not forget to stay awesome stay inspired peace